Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards you for the month of November? This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me. How to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, all kinds of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to everyone for all your support. It really means a lot to me, whether you're a new subscriber or if you've booked a personal reading or if you've tipped or donated to the channel. Everything is very much appreciated. So thank you for supporting the channel, helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of the channel's growth. And I just want to say thank you so much. So thank you. Thank you. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Okay, Capricorn, let's see who is coming towards you for the month of November. Happy fall. Happy November. All right, Capricorn singles, who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards you, Capricorn? Let's get a couple signs here with the Zodiac Oracle. A couple signs for Capricorn. What signs do we have for Capricorn? For And if neither one of these signs, well, you wouldn't know because you haven't met the person yet, but if you have um, an idea of somebody that you don't really have a connection with yet, um, if their sign comes out, then that's good. If not, then it could be somebody totally new. So we got one here, one more. Wow. You know what? I think I'm going to take those two. So they flew out together. So we have Taurus and Vir Wow, that is so weird. Two earth signs here. Three of the earth signs right here. So you could be connecting with a fellow earth sign. That is so weird. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, you are all Earth signs. Wow. All right. And all the cards have been pre-shuffled. And you just saw me shuffle more. So that Earth, 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 that is so strange. All right. <laughs> all righty then. Let's see. Vir uh, Capricorn. I almost said Virgo. Capricorn, Capricorn. Who is this person coming into Capricorn spirit, please? What is their energy like? Who are they? What are they like? What is their energy? Who are they? One more shuffle. What is the energy of this person coming into Virgo spirit, please? Can we get one card? The energy of this person for Capricorn singles. Take that one. Crown chakra. Okay, so this is somebody who could be very, very spiritual. Could be, um, they could be in the spiritual field of some kind. They're very in tune and in touch with the spiritual realm, with their gut, their intuition, divine energy. The crown chakra is all about that higher knowing, like trusting in divine source, trusting in your gut, your intuition, being heavily connected to your angels, your spirit team. And divine energy. They could even be a medium. They could be uh, a psychic, a tower reader, a healer, spiritual healer of some kind. Someone who's very, very spiritual and connected spiritually. Even if it's not spiritual, it could be a very religious person also. But the crown chakra is all about that spirituality and being very, very divinely connected to source. So, wow. And you have seven here. Seven is a very spiritual divine number also. Okay, so very spiritual person, I feel. All right, Capricorn. So when could you meet this person? That's too many. I want a time frame, like a season or something like that. So when could Capricorn, okay. All right, well, that doesn't really tell me anything. <laughs> Base chakra. That doesn't tell me anything. So I need one more. Although that does look like fire energy to me. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's get. Okay. So we have uh, cup energy here, which is summer. So it may not be till summertime. We have eight here, which could be August. So summertime or specifically could be July or, or August because we do have seven, eight. So I'm not seeing till summertime, 7 or 8 July or August. And so it would be the uh, summer starts what? Oh, it starts in June, end of June. So July, August. Yeah, so July or August. So 
Where could you meet this person? Where could you meet this person? Okay, so I do see a rainbow here. It looks like flowers, but it kind of looks like clouds and kind of looks, I know it's not water, but it looks like water. So I'm getting, it could be um, around water or something like that. Um, or it could be like at your local park, somewhere near a river, a stream, a body of water, a lake, even near the ocean possibly. Uh, could be on a rainy day and rainbow comes out afterwards. Hmm. You could be even in your own yard planting uh, a garden or tending to your garden here. And you kind of meet this person. So anything to do with being outside a uh, park, in a park or near water or something like that, body of water. Or you could be working outside on your garden and that's how you meet them. Or you could hire somebody to do your garden landscaping or something like that. But I'm getting more towards a uh, park or a body of water. You could even be camping because you do see withdrawal here. So, I mean, you could be like camping somewhere and that's how you meet this person. All right. So let's see how. All right. So almost looks like, um, again, <laughs> got like a castle here. Maybe you're visiting like a local attraction or you're on vacation. You could also be on vacation and you meet somebody like maybe you visit a castle or some kind of um, historical site or something like that because you almost see like a coliseum or a castle so maybe you're visiting you're on vacation visiting somewhere also and uh that's how you meet this person you know maybe you're just standing around looking on the balcony looking out you know or something like that it could be near a body of water you know maybe it's some sort of local attraction wherever you're vacationing um, it's near a body of water or something like that. Okay. That's what I'm getting with that. So maybe, you know, you see them and they're kind of standing there all by themselves. They look kind of lonely, bored, and content. And you're like discontent. And you're like, hmm, maybe I'll just go say hi. I don't know. And uh, maybe you strike up a conversation with this person. All right. So if you connect with this person... I see though they could be very, very spiritual though. So uh, very strong in their faith, their religion, their spirituality, that kind of energy. All right, so if you connect with this person, what kind of connection will it be for you, Capricorn? What kind of connection, one more shuffle, will it be for you, Capricorn? What kind of connection Will this be for Capricorn spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can we have one card for Capricorn? And what kind of connection this will be? Okay, I just had something flip here. All right, so we have the home here. That's a nice energy. This is all about stability. This reminds me of the Four of Wands in Tarot. And we do have the King of Cups down here. So there will be love and emotions here with the King of Cups. Four is all about stability and foundation. And the home is a very secure, stable um, connection here. So it'll be very, very stable, very stable, loving, caring, nurturing, giving. The King of Cups energy there. So mutual love between the two of you. Very sincere. And very stable with the four there. So that's nice energy. You may move in together very quickly also is what I'm getting with that. Wow. Because we've got two fours here. <laughs> and these two fours equal the eight over here. Wow. And eight is all about um, communication, action, travel, that sort of energy. So, I mean, with the emotional withdrawal here, you could be like, could have went like on a withdrawal retreat and went on vacation near water. And that's how you meet this person because the sacrifice here is the hangman. So it's kind of like um, taking a pause, a break, reflecting and gaining perspective. So yeah, I feel like you could be on vacation and that's how you meet this person, either at wherever you are, a local attraction, 
a historical site or something like that. And maybe they did the same thing. Maybe they went on vacation also. Like a could even be a spiritual vacation just to get away, retreat, and um, disconnect from everything just to uh, gain clarity and uh, just recuperate it from either from something or just to, you know, relax. Wow. Okay. So, and you may start up a conversation. Oh, yeah, I'm on vacation just to, you know, disconnect, get away, and retreat, and just time for myself. And they may be like, hey, you know, I did the same thing. I just needed to get away also. <laughs> it's like you both went on vacation to the same place alone for the same reasons. Wow. All right. So, what's your advice with this connection? Lady Nada. Heart awakening, awaken to acceptance and divine love, give and receive and balance. Wow. So your advice here is accept this divine love and to give and receive and balance. Wow. Wow. So that's a nice energy here. I feel like you're going to have a lot in common with this person. If you're spiritual also, I think you're going to have a lot in common with this person. Wow. Okay. So if you go on vacation or retreat this summer, I mean, you may meet other people before then, but this could be your true partner coming in or potential true partner or somebody. And it, this true person may not be till summer, though you may date others before then. Uh, but I feel like this will be your true person coming in uh, next summer. All right, so let's get some tarot. Just to clarify some things here. And they could have, um, they could be Virgo or Taurus, but they don't have to be. Or they could have those signs in their chart. All right, so let's get some tarot on this. Can we clarify? What do we have for Capricorn? The Three of Rods. So I think you're waiting. <laughs> Fire energy here it doesn't have to be, but waiting. It's like you're waiting and waiting for the right person. You know, it's like you're waiting for that ship to come in, um, you know, and you're like, when am I going to find the right one? I'm just waiting patiently here. Uh, I have many options. I'm dating many people, but the right one has not come yet. And I'm patiently waiting for that right one. Yep. Wow. So now we have balance here. We have peace, harmony, balance, healing energy, patience. It's like have patience. Know you're waiting. Know you're waiting here, but have patience. Have patience because your heart will awaken to this divine person coming into you. Because we do have the word divine here. Divine love, balance, and this is the balance right here. So keeping yourself balanced, having patience, healing energy also... Um, kind of energy and the temperance angel here brings soulmates together so this is a potential soulmate coming into you and if you go on vacation it's like you know i don't want to you could be even in that energy i don't want to meet anyone i just want to be left alone and that's when you're going to meet this person <laughs> but yeah it's <laughs> wow so i just said that you're going to be probably on vacation or something like that maybe or just at home and you're working in your garden or whatever here and it's like i don't want to be bothered by anybody i want to be left alone the four swords is about going and spending time alone uh disconnecting retreating um healing kind of energy thinking contemplating rejuvenating recuperating you know that's that four of swords energy it's like i just want to be left alone here while i you know heal contemplate rejuvenate retreat what else Queen of Pentacles, so that's all this earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You know, being stable and grounded, uh, smart, analytical, financially set, really being in your energy. Like, you know, I'm fine. Maybe I'm just fine on my own. Maybe I don't need anybody. I have my own pentacle here. I have my own pentacles. I don't really need anyone. But... We have the Ten of Pentacles coming in. And the, wow, so we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. And I just said Divine Partner. 
And now we have the king and queen, a matching couple here, which is divine counterparts, soulmate energy here. That will lead to the Ten of Pentacles, happy home and family, uh, legacy of a family, sharing everything together. Wow. Okay, what else? What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? Anything else? Eight of Cups. So, yeah, and we have the Eight of Cups over here. So definitely you could be just like, you know what? I need to get away. I need to walk away from things right now. Just go off on my own and just, you know, take some time for me. Yeah, hermit. Wow, I just said that. Hermit. Virgo energy here. Taking time for me. Just I just want to heal, think, contemplate. Find what I need to do, what's best for me. Find my way, find my light. Do that inner journey work, soul work. But then here's passionate communication, offer coming in. So I feel like this person, you may, you may either, you know, if you want to be left alone, this person may come to you or vice versa, whatever here. But here's communication, an offer or something here. Very passionate, exciting offer. It might be an offer you can't refuse. You know, I feel like you're going to want to be left alone, but then you're going to see, look at this, these two, how I place the cards there um, facing each other. So you may be in that energy. I just want to be left alone. And then you see this person and you're like, the light goes on, ding, 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 ding. And you're like, yeah, well, maybe, you know, maybe I'll approach this person or they'll approach you. It's like your heart awakens to this person. What else? Is there anything else for Capricorn? Anything else for Capricorn? Singles. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so, you know, loneliness, being left out in the cold, abandonment. Uh, could be material lack also. But I feel like, again, you know, going off on your own, you know. But you, you, your heart just might awaken and say, you know, I've been alone for so long and I just can't find the one. Then you see this person and it's like heart awakening and then here's the light coming on. And you're either going to approach them or they'll approach you. So I think one will see the other being kind of disconnect, bored but have like a mutual like connection to one another like drawn to one another and that could be this crown chakra here with that spiritual energy so let's see if there's anything else not we'll see what's on the bottom of the deck okay the hangman wow and we have that uh but we have that somewhere here but yeah Reflecting, thinking, and seeing a new perspective on things, taking a break, but yet your heart and your everything lighting up here to something new, gaining new perspective, making a judgment call, you know, feeling a little disillusioned, maybe, you know, this is about secrets coming to light, following your gut and your intuition, yeah, following your gut and your intuition, your higher knowing, and there's all that crown chakra spiritual energy. Fate, this is fate and destiny. Wow, the King of Cups too. And we got the King of Cups over here on the Lenormand. So this is fate and destiny. This love is meant to be. Trusting your gut and your intuition about this, though you may not see things clearly. Making a judgment call. And everything lighting up your crown chakra, crown chakra in your heart. All awakening and opening up to this person. Wow, Capricorn. So I see this potential person coming in, soulmate energy here with a matching couple, and they're both Earths. This is both Earth, and this is all Earth here. So wow, Spirit confirming that. So if you go on vacation or something, or you meet somebody while you're doing yard work or something like that, pay attention. This could be a person, and you may, may be in that energy of like, I, I give up, or you know what, I'm just done. I want to be left alone now, and then boom, that's when this person comes in. Okay, Capricorn, if you do like my style, you look like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Be sure to hit the bell if you subscribe and you'll get four readings a month. Um, singles reading, if you do have a connection with somebody, I do a love connection reading. 
I do a tarot forecast, which is a general reading for the month, and I do spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time from uh, spirit. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. Best of luck to you here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.